All right. Well, this is uh, just some little off-road paths. I think it, eventually it's going to be developed into a little subdivision or whatever, but right now it's just a bunch of dirt paths and it's good, good practice for a new adventure rider. At least for me. It's got some sand, not too crazy, but, en but enough to <laughs> give me something to practice on anyway. All I know about adventure riding is what I've uh, seen on YouTube. There's a lot of good, good channels out there for, for uh, you know, giving advice, of course. But then I'll take a a real course with someone or with Rawhide or one of those guys, one of those places eventually. But uh, for now, this is my practice place. Sure don't go very fast, but I actually did drop the bike. I didn't have the camera last week, and I'm sure hopefully I can find that same spot so I can keep hitting that area, get better at it, but Probably going five mile an hour or something. Just a, just, I was trying to keep the weight off the front, but but apparently I didn't do good enough job with that. That front end slipped right out. Should have left the bike down too. Took a picture. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Turned it off real quick, but I just wanted to get it back upright for the first time because I'd never even practiced lifting the bike up. So I did that instead of taking a picture. I took a picture after it was sitting up. Baby heads, that's fun. Hello. Oh, here we go. A little sand. And you can feel it wanting to... Try and stay off. No, no death grips. Look ahead. Guess I'll be able to look back or... People will be able to see when I'm looking down. sand. I really want to get good in the sand. Confident in the sand anyway. I don't know if you can ever get good in the sand, but confident. I think I'm still looking down too much. Maybe. Probably. I think that's the natural instinct, so looking forward like I'm trying to do now and gripping the tank you need to giving it some little extra gas and we got somebody walking over here what's this guy doing oh, he's walking his dog I really don't want to go ride with other people until I have a little bit better grip of this area anyway. So I'm, I'm new to this, I've never <clears throat> never had a dirt bike. A long time street rider, but no dirt bikes. Never, never bought one for some crazy reason. Good uh, workout for the quads, man. I gotta 
hit the gym building things up. So it won't uh, take so much out of me. Man, this bike, I can just, it's got so much torque on the low end, it's just crazy. a little sandy stuff here so trying to do a little recording in case I bust my ass here. Morning! I'm here I just wrap up my ride and head home but hopefully this video gives a little bit better idea of what a rookie, rookie rider like me goes through um, to uh, you know improve your skill set a little bit and, and uh, get better with each ride. Um, it's basic basic stuff you know, not deep sand or anything, not crazy, crazy rocks like right here, but, but enough to challenge a, a new rider in the dirt and, and uh, little by little make you a little bit better every every ride. That's the goal, right? And uh, well, hopefully this helps helps somebody. Um, I know it's the kind of stuff I was looking for when I was searching YouTube, so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it helps one person anyway. <laughs>